Hey guys, Chris here. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the infotainment system here on the 2019 BMW X3. I'm also going to show you guys the head-up display and the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster. And the reason I'm doing this at night is the screens are much prettier at night and especially the head-up display is much easier to show when it's dark outside. So starting off with the digital gauge cluster and what's really cool about this gauge cluster is that you have physical bezels here around the speedometer and also around the tachometer also down here around the fuel gauge and on the right side around the temperature gauge this is the speedometer and then on the right side you have the tachometer this is what it looks like when the car's turned off you have in an analog clock there in the middle and then you have the outside temperature down there below that at the bottom we have the odometer and i also have a trip computer uh, and a trip meter so if I press the board computer button here on the left stock, you can see fuel consumption, you can see fuel consumption and average speed. You can also see the direction. So we're pointing against the north there. And then you can also just have it blank, but I, I like having it like that. And you also have comfort down there in the right corner indicating the drive mode. So I'm just gonna start up the car quickly here. Turn down the radio and that's what it looks like when it started up. A really beautiful gauge cluster it's not very customizable and you also don't have map viewing in the middle which is a downfall or a downside about this gauge cluster that's one of the best things I like about digital gauge clusters is that you have a map view there in the middle but it's still very pretty and of really high resolution we're now in comfort this is what this looks like and you can also go to sport and then the whole thing turns different it turns much more red and you also have a digital speedometer there on the left and then you also have sport individual down there in the right uh, corner because i am in sport individual and then you also have eco pro that's the eco mode and then everything turns blue and all speeds above 130 kilometers an hour is actually blacked out and then instead of a tachometer on the right side you have a uh, live fuel consumption here on the right side and then you have power going back into the battery of the car and also eco pro down there in the right corner and then you have lastly adaptive which is the same as the comfort gauges going to turn off the car here so i'm not you know disturbing my neighbors here at night with the engine running we now move over to the iDrive infotainment screen and it's a beautiful beautiful high definition screen 10.1 inches diagonally ultra wide screen and we're now in map view and this is one of the nicest and the most beautiful maps I've ever seen in any modern car. The graphics are so crisp and so quick. It just flows very smoothly. Look here, me just zooming in here in Oslo and look at these uh, building graphics also while driving through Oslo the other day. This just pops up. It's, it's so beautiful and, and one of the nicest navigation systems I've seen in in any uh, you know modern car and as you can see I'm actually using my hands to move across the screen here because the latest iteration of iDrive is also a touch screen you still have you know the iDrive scroll wheel with the shortcut buttons and also with a touchpad on top but you can also use it as a touch screen and that's just super practical up here to the left we have uh, you know uh, enter destination and you can also you know just hit the wheel there and then do a quick search and then you can just scroll you know do Oslo uh, like that this is not how I prefer to to put in an address because I'm used to a touchscreen in my Volvo XC90 but you can do that easily enough you can also uh, use the touchpad on top you know go O, o S, S L, L. Oh. oh, which is much smoother in my opinion, but you can also do the last thing if you press quick search with your finger You get up a QWERTY keyboard and Oslo That's absolutely the quickest way to do it But you know while stationary on the move I prefer using the touch pad on top of the iDrive control wheel So you know set home destination recent destination address input and you also have point of interest um, you can do an online search. You can also do petrol stations, parking, park and ride, and BMW service. Petrol stations just shows you, you know, the nearest petrol stations. And let's go ahead and go all the way back. 
So you can also kick the iDriver wheel to the left to go to the left screens here and route guidance, spoken instructions. Yeah, just your typical, uh, typical, uh, you know, navigation stuff. Traffic information in real time is very good in this car. There was a traffic jam on the freeway here yesterday and it routed me very nicely away from that. Just want to show you another thing here. If I kick the iDriver wheel to the right, I get something called split screen. So you can split the screen like this and then you can show, you know, uh, map orientation, arrow view. You can also do your position. You can do onboard computer or your trip computer. Do the trip computer looks like that. But I prefer having the full screen just as the, the NAS screen because it looks so beautiful. So let's go out and go to the main menu here let's see let's go all the way out here all the way back so if i press back one more time uh or i do yeah why isn't that working if i do press here you can you know zoom out you have navigation my vehicle media radio communication connected drive and then you have notifications we already did navigation go into my vehicle or just press that one more time you also zoom in and then instead of having all six panes up on the screen at once you have three panes so you can go into my vehicle and you can do vehicle settings i drive settings driver profile vehicle status so you can you know, check your tire pressure your fuel levels, uh, all kinds of stuff you can check in here. And then you can go back. Technology and action is quite uh, quite cool. So efficient dynamics. You can have this up on the screen and it shows you, you know, where the energy is going from the brakes into the battery and then from, you know, the drivetrain to the wheels and stuff like that. You can also do iDrive status. And these screens you can also do as a split screen up here with the nav screen. So here you have, you know, uh, the pitch and dive and roll and also your your north south orientation and you can also do sport displays which shows you how much power uh, the engine is making and also how much torque which is quite quite funny in an suv actually so let's go ahead and go back and also driver's information and also your ha owner's handbook uh, meter radio is just you know self-explanatory dab digital audio broadcasting fm am Music collection, so here you can rip from a CD or a USB stick to the hard drive of this car. And what I want to show you guys is when you scroll through here, you can see on the right side, it shows a preview of the, the next menu. So if I press music collection, this is what I will get. So press music collection and that shows up. So it's very practical to see while, you know, looking for stuff and wondering where things are. Also, you're my phone and you can also do screen mirroring. Well, I only think you can do that with an Apple device because this car doesn't have Android Auto. BMW don't have Android Auto in their cars. They only have Apple CarPlay and also USB. You can go also into sound settings here. This car has the Harman Kardon premium sound system with Logic 7 surround. An awesome sounding sound system. I'm going to do a video about that also in the week to come, uh, hopefully. Uh, communication, so your contacts, recent call style number, stuff like that. And you can also do memos, which is really funny. So you can do a an audio recording. So if you, you know, want to take a note and you don't want to write, you can do a voice note. Or if you, you know, come with up, come up with a brilliant idea while driving, you can do a voice memo on that. And connected drive also is also very interesting. Um, Connected Drive is a three-year subscription, uh, which comes with concierge services and also BMW assistance. Um, that means you're connected to the internet and you can also do apps. So you have weather, 11 degrees Celsius outside is the forecast, but it's actually 16 according to the car. You can do news, online search, and also you have apps here. I do hope you have Spotify. I haven't been able to find any apps. Uh, but I haven't connected my phone or connected the car further to the internet to, to search. But you do have Flickr, so I, I can only assume you do have Spotify. That would be very strange not having Spotify in 2018. Lastly, you have notifications here. So this is a very beautiful, high-resolution nav screen. And it's, it's really welcome that you can also, you know, use uh, your hands. You know, it's also a touchscreen, uh, which is also... Yeah, it's actually really nice. Uh, lastly, I want to show you guys 
just gonna start up the car. Uh, this car has one of the best 360 cameras in the business today. Yes, it is dark outside, so you're not able to see that much. But what's really cool is that you have the 360 camera here, and then you actually have a backup camera here on the right screen. But when you have it to auto, it, it actually uh, uh, moves up into this 3D view, close-up view of the back. Um, but you can also do... You can do this, which is the augment, augmented reality, which is just really cool and really awesome. So this is a 3D version of the car and you can move around and yeah, you can look at the car from the outside. My neighbor's V70 looks hilariously big there, um, but you can see that is actually really cool, guys. So just lastly and quickly, guys, I want to show you guys the head-up display in this, the 2019 BMW X3N. Unfortunately, this won't do it justice. I'll hopefully, uh, or I'll link to my uh, first impressions video up there in the right corner. You can see uh, how this screen works in action, or this setup display. It's one of the best in the business today. And uh, you can see on the bottom uh, part there, you have the speedometer. Up there to the left, you have the uh, speed limit um, in your current location. There's no speed limit here because I'm in a parking lot. And then the right side there shows you the navigation prompts, but it's much more elaborate than that. It actually shows you much more. It shows you the lanes and it's one of the largest and the most graphical heads up display I've ever seen in any car. I'm just gonna do this quickly, put the car into drive and let's see if we can uh, activate the radar guided cruise control just to show you guys what that looks like. Um, doesn't look like the car will let us do that while just you know standing cannot be activated uh, No, sorry guys. I'll have to you know overlay this video with other footage so There you go guys and that was the tour of the BMW iDrive infotainment system with the digital gauge cluster and the head-up display I actually filmed this video uh, yesterday and it was a much better video than this. But I happened to, while editing, or I edited the video, I rendered it and then I uploaded it to YouTube and then I deleted the original files. And when I uploaded it, I saw that it was only nine minutes long while the original video was like 18 minutes. So half of the video just wasn't there and it was too late. Um, I had deleted the files, so I had to go out and film this video now. So I'm going to upload this right now, and it is late. It's almost 11 o'clock in the evening, but it's better than nothing. It's almost as good as, you know, uh, the other video I made, and it's much shorter, so it's much more condensed, uh, more to the point. Uh, but what I didn't wasn't able to show you guys properly was, of course, the head up display but i still hope you guys liked this video if you did please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content as always guys please subscribe see you guys later and goodbye